And then we're told, oh, you can talk about it. And it's like, oh, really? Does everybody know what an NDA is? Oh. Yeah, not oh. one. I'm hey. so proud! <laughs>
it's when you you have to go between tiger's eye and hawk's eye, and it's like what am I? You have to it go was double so thing. fun. And and then she re later realized, oh now I see, now I see why this is one of my. That's you know? the running section of between the two. There's just like a running montage, yes. and Susie's like, do you want to take it piece by piece because the tempo changes? And I said, no, I want to do the whole thing in one. <laughs> so we did one take, and I was like, whoo, I'm a little lightheaded. She's like, yeah, you. you should be. Have a seat. <laughs> Seriously, it's like, <laughs> like at least that's what we're doing. You were going really, really fast. Yeah. You're like, oh, it's great. It's so much fun. But seeing her Venus and Crystal, she's a little more serious, right? Yeah. I mean, she has a lot more. She's like, got a lot more at stake too. Yeah. Responsibility. Because she's kind of thrown in, which we experience that in classic as well. But I feel like, I feel like in classic, she's a. Uh, She's like a kindergarten teacher. She's like, guys, we've got a little more time for you to realize the powers. <laughs> and then this one, it's like a very serious, like high school, like you guys are graduating next week. I need you to get it together. <laughs> yeah, I would say for my character, there's not as much difference in the tone. Um, you know, of course, there isn't a whole lot of the campy stuff, but it, she's still the same age and the, still to the tone of her voice and like, her energy is still pretty much the same because she's kind of the comedy relief in a lot of it. Yeah. I always think it's interesting to see Chibiusa's um, story arc because she is, you know, we, we first come into the show uh, meeting the main five, you know, and uh, the, there are all these young girls that are going through this change in their life. They're becoming the guardians of the universe, essentially. And then Chibiusa comes in and we see, we start to see her journey from being, you know, just a, a princess to then turning into a sailor guardian. Wow. And it's pretty, it's pretty interesting because we see her go through um, things that every child or young lady goes yeah. through. You yeah. know? So yeah. it's it's pretty fascinating. Especially especially in the original, I think, you know, because we see that she, you know, later on in the Black Moon Clan uh, season, you know, she starts to doubt if people really like her, oh, yeah. if they, which is where Black Lady comes from. So yeah. it's something that we all go through, you know, and it's, it's just very fascinating to see her character grow. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. and I love that you said that because I felt that recording, the Black Lady stuff, and it's not about her just becoming evil, it's no. becoming dark. Mm -hmm. Like, when we go into depression or we go into, like, self-hatred and like I'm not good enough or mm -hmm. you know what yeah and it's just like her own darkness of course it's brought on by Wiseman but yeah it's her own darkness that overcomes her and yeah and you really see it too when she sees Luna P that one yeah. time she says my friend oh, you know yeah. and you see her eyes like it comes back the light for a minute and then it goes you know oh. so, I want so my she, own Luna P I know <laughs> we all do yeah. I know right I yeah. want something that can just turn into like an umbrella and that like, you know, like if it's raining, Whatever you, know, you need, yeah. I know, exactly. <laughs> uh, Meet Judo, or Sailor Neptune in, in Crystal. Uh, kind of like what you were saying, Sandy, she's not very different, I think, from the original, because she and Uranus are always very calm and collected. You guys are pretty serious. We are very serious. Yeah. I think I think she's a little more flirtatious in Crystal, because she flirts with Mamoru the first time she sees him. Oh, yeah. yeah. And it's something really serious. It's like a little fun, flirtatious kind of deal. And I, I find that... That's just who she is, though. I know, exactly. But not but in the original, not she has a flirtatious uh, tone to her voice. Yeah. But she's never full on, she never full, full on like flirts with, with Mamaru in the original. But what I love about Uranus and Neptune's relationship is that they're very secure in their relationship. Yeah, so it's yeah. like, oh, you can flirt with this person, baby. You fine. You know, it's fine. <laughs> so it's, you know, and, and it's, it's, I, <laughs> yeah, so it's true. But yeah, and I, I like how um, there's a lot more. I mean, we, we all have known that Uranus and Neptune are partners in life and in, and in their, their, you know, their destiny. 